Hello and welcome back to my channel. It feels so good to be back and filming a video. It's been a really long time since I filmed a video. To be honest, I always feel so awkward and I think the only way that I'm ever going to get over that is to try to push forward and keep filming videos. So hopefully you'll hang with me and I'll get better at this. But I'm back with a um, fall haul and I, I love haul videos. I love seeing what other people buy. I love hearing their reasoning um, behind why they like an item. And yeah, fall is such a great time to pick up a few new things to um, get you excited about the changing of the seasons. And so yeah, let's just get into it. I, I feel very official because I bought an actual ring light and I have my um, camera running through my computer. And so I can see myself on my computer. I'm going to try not to look too much, but it's kind of distracting, I will admit. Okay, first up is this. And I'm going to do um, a screen of either a, a picture of me wearing this or um, a video. So there'll probably be a mixture of both. It's this oversized um, gray, cozy sweater. Um, it's really wide and it's a little. Um, I don't want to call it cropped, but it's a little shorter, and um, it is uh, by American Eagle, and I got a size large. They actually picked this up from TJ Maxx. It was only like $12, and I got it, um, gosh, I don't know, two or three weeks ago, so it might still be um, in other TJ Maxx's, I'm not sure. But I really like this sweater. Um, I actually got it to kind of give this style a try. The off-the-shoulder trend is so huge right now. and. Um, I'm not a huge strapless bra person and I always feel like there's going to be like a, a whoops, like either your kid's going to pull the, sh the shoulder down or it's just going to slide down and you're going to show more than you mean to. And I tend to be pretty, uh, pretty conservative dresser as far as that goes. So the way that I make this more wearable for me is I wear um, a bandeau or a bralette or like a half cami. And my favorite place to get those is at Walmart. Um, usually you can get them in two packs for like uh, between five and ten bucks. And um, they've had them for season after season. So check Walmart. Um, and then I, I just put them over my bra. And then that way um, I don't have to worry about my bra showing for one thing. And then if my um, daughter pulls my shoulder, you know, my sleeve down, then, you know, no big deal. So loving that. Next up is this gray um, leopard, it's a gray, <laughs> this leopard scarf. Um, I really liked this version of leopard. Hi Ellie. Hi Mom. Are you coming in to help me? Yeah. Okay, we're going to have to sit right here and be quiet. Okay. I really liked um, this version of leopard because it was a bigger print and it was more abstract and then it also has um, stripes you can see that so it's not completely um, solid leopard and it's really soft and long and this is a um, <laughs> at least trying to put her foot up there stop it this is a um, oblong it's not a square um, and I really love the um, the mixture of the brown and black because I love to wear brown and black together. I don't know who started that rule or where that came from, but we need to throw it in the trash. Okay, next up is this trench coat from Old Navy. I had been um, eyeing this oh, for the last year or so. I had tried on lots of um, trenches at different stores, um, you know, $200 ones or more. Um, because I thought that this is such a classic piece that I'm going to have in my wardrobe. And um, the sleeves were never long enough. And it just never fit quite right. And I can totally um, work with that if it's not an expensive item. So when I saw the Old Navy had this in talls, I knew that the sleeves would be long enough. And that it would be long enough in the body. And it is. And it was such a great price. It has a nice lining. It was a, it's great quality. It has a typical tie and the um, flap in the back. Now I will say that I was in Target oh, a couple months ago and they have one by the brand A New Day. I will link it below. And it is water resistant. Now, it's not near as long in the body 
I'm 5'9", so this, that's something that I uh, worry about, that I want things to be a little longer. But I did really like it. Um, it was around $50, and I think it comes in a couple other colors besides the traditional khaki. And it was, um, like I said, water resistant, it had a hood, so it might be a little bit more versatile, um, this fact that you could wear it in the rain. But I still really love this one, and I think that it's a great value, especially if you use a coupon and use your Old Navy cash, you can't go wrong. And it comes in black, too. I definitely have a scarf addiction. Uh, my husband gives me a hard time about it. But I love um, basic clothes. I love... Um, you know, simple things like what I have on, and then I love to mix and match um, scarves or bags um, to kind of change up the way uh, something looks. So this scarf is from Amazon, and I loved the vintage print of it, and I loved that it had tassels. It's a square that goes all the way around, and then at the point, the tassels are a little longer. And this just looks so cute, done up in, it's not folded right, but done up in kind of a bandana style, or you could fold it uh, around a bag. Such great, a great find on Amazon. You just never really know. So really happy with that. And Ellie's back. Are you gonna sit here? Okay. So, filming videos, I guess this is just going to be part of it, I'm going to be joined by this. Alright, now, I have a, um, a love of Walmart scarves because they're so affordable and they are usually pretty amazing quality for the value. And if you are like me and don't live near a Forever 21 or an H&M that has, you know, um, great deals on scarves and accessories, um, Walmart is a great option. So my Walmart, and I'm never really sure what other Walmarts in other areas are doing, had a whole section of $2 scarves. Um, and so I picked up this one, which I fell in love with these little, um, let's see, these little bead tassels right there. <laughs> Ellie, stop it. And when I got at home, I thought, oh, it looks an awful lot like that one. But, so I haven't decided if I'm going to keep this one. I may give it away. And then I picked up this one, which is black, with these cute little white um, palm details there. That one was $2. I thought this would look so good with black skinny jeans or blue, um, dark blue skinnies and a white button-up and this on maybe some um, high heels. Can't go wrong with that outfit. And then lastly, I picked up this um, tribal print, light blue and blush pink um, scarf. And then it has these little, um, uh, what do you call them? Not tassels, fringe, fringe detail at the bottom. Again, this one was $2. In Walmart, I want to share this bag. Um, when we, my daughter and I were uh, looking at scarves, we stumbled on, they had a whole section of $3 bags, lots of beach bags and things like that. I didn't really need any of it. They were cute. But we did end up coming home with this bag. And I think that this was priced around $15 normally, which is still a really good deal. But it was on clearance for whatever reason for $3. It has a nice um, zip pocket and then the flap. And I just think since it's black, it just looks like I don't think you can really tell that it's $3 from Walmart. So I've been wearing this every day since I got it. And I just got it um, last week, I think, so check your store now. Next up is this uh, Tweed Boyfriend Blazer from Target. And it's by the new line at Target, um, A New Day. And I had wanted, I have a black boyfriend blazer, but I had on my wish list to get the Tweed one. And I stumbled onto this one and couldn't leave it. It was only $34.99. So, um, Target is absolutely one of my favorite places to get blazers. I think that the quality is great. Um, they're always very affordable. And I've had a few of my Target blazers for, I'm going to say, eight years, and they still look great. So 
like I said, this one couldn't leave it. It has the nice lining. It actually has an inside pocket there. Um, these are real pockets here. And then it also has um, these tiny little specks of blue and red, the red, which I don't know if you can see. Love, love, love this. Was so excited to make this find. My husband and I were on a day date um, at the mall, which seems pretty lame, but we were having fun. And he wanted to pop into Banana Republic. Um, he really likes the Gavin pants, I think it's called from there. So he wanted to go in and check things out. And um, I was looking at the women's side, and I came across this on the um, clearance rack. And this is the Parker, which is a standard style, I believe. Um, when I looked online, they didn't have this exact one. They had some other fabrics and prints or designs. So I really like this one. Of course, it's blue. I love blue. And then it had this cute stitching detail on the sleeve and then on the collar and then um, here on the, uh, on the front. And then also I fell in love with this little detail, which I don't know if you can see. It's kind of a um, uh, rounded hem, split hem. And that is so flattering. Uh, because this shirt is meant to be worn um, over leggings or skinny jeans. Um, so it's just really a flattering cut to do that with. So love, love, love this design. So the next two items, I don't know if you can consider it um, thrifting, but I actually picked them up from my mom and dad's house. Um, they were out of town and I had went over uh, to check on their dogs a couple days and um, was digging around in um, my old closet. I haven't lived at home in a really long time, but I still have stuff there. Sorry, Mom and Dad. But anyways, I came across these two things. The first um, is this Levi's jacket, and I believe this is from, this was my brother's. I think that this is from 1992, 93. It's, it fits me perfectly uh, oversized, you know, the oversized boyfriend uh, denim jacket look, and I couldn't be more excited to find it. Really, really love that it's um, it's light wash and it's distressed just because he wore it a lot, but it's not um, like overly distressed. There's not big holes or anything in it. So loving this. The other thing I came up with was this um, Big Smith chambray chambray shirt, pearl snaps, and it is a um, extra large tall, and the sleeves are so long. Um, I can't remember if I said this, but I'm five nine. So a little on the taller side. So I was really excited to find a denim shirt that was really long and oversized like this. I had never thought to look in the guy section for it. And I had been kind of on the hunt for a nice pearl snap shirt. So I really love to wear this with like leggings um, for um, like what I have on now, just like leggings, tennis shoes, or cowboy boots. And you know, you throw this on and that kind of makes your whole outfit really cool. Getting to the end here, okay. So on that date, date that I was talking about, we went into Nordstrom and I was honestly disappointed. I don't get to a Nordstrom to get to peruse a store very often and it was coming, uh, the Nordstrom was just coming out of the anniversary sale. So I don't know if it was just kind of picked over at that point or what, but there just really wasn't a ton of stuff that I was just absolutely in love with. But I did find this dress. Um, and it is by the brand Leaf. I got a size small, and I absolutely love this dress. It has pockets, and it is a thick knit, and it's a fit and flare. Um, it's so flattering on, I believe that they call this maybe a ballerina style because it has, um, take it off the hanger here, it has um, like a similar scoop in the front as it does in the back, like what you would think of a ballerina wearing and it just fits so great. And I love, love, love pieces like this. You can throw them on with absolutely anything, any kind of shoe, any kind of accessory, and it will work. So I think it's really important to have pieces like this in our closet that, you know, you're, oh shoot, I need to have a dress for a funeral or a wedding or um, an event. So love, love, love this dress. And this would be a great dress to travel with because it really doesn't take up much room. And it packs nicely. Lastly, I have been on the hunt for 
high rise, like 10 inch rise um, boot cut jeans. And for whatever reason, there are none. And when I grew up, it was in the time of Rocky Mountains and lawman jeans, and they were sky high. And now it seems like all the western jeans are lower rise. So I don't know if it's just going to take a while for them to come back around to the trends of the 90s or what, but... So, I ended up with these. I got them off Amazon. They are 7 for All Mankind. And they are, they're called a flare, but they're not a, a huge flare. Um, I don't know if you can see there. <coughs> Excuse me. So, and they are, were the ginger, or are the ginger style. Um, I believe it's a discontinued style. They are still available on Amazon. I love wearing these over my cowboy boots. I just want a plain, dark wash, denim jean. I don't need any bedazzles, jewels, stitching. I just want a plain, dark wash jean. Please, somebody start making them. I think that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to be here every week. We'll see how this goes. Um, comment below if you have any video ideas you'd like to see. I would love to hear from you. And yeah, see you next time. Bye.